Hello everyone, welcome again to our YouTube channel Engineers World. Today we will be solving some important previous year's SSC JE questions related to serving. So, hope you will enjoy solving these questions. So the first question is, which of the following scale is the smallest to one? So the options are A, 4 is 2, 2 lakh, B, 1 centimeter equal to 5000 meters, C, 1 centimeter equal to 50 meter, and D, RF equal to 1 by 50,000. So whatever that we do, we will first convert all the options into RF. See, for first option, RF will be 4 by 1st option it will be 1 by 50,000. This is option A. For option B, the RF will be 1 by 1 that is 1 by this. For C, it will be 1 by 50 into 100. That is 1 by 5,000. And D, it's already given as 1 by 50,000. See, for uh, the trick uh, to find the smallest RF is the one which is having the largest denominator. So, our option B has the largest uh, denominator. So, our option B is correct. Now, coming to next question. So, the next question says, when the curvature of earth curvature of earth is taken into account the surveying is called as so the options are plane surveying B is preliminary C option is hydrographic and or D option is geodetic So, we know very well that when the curvature of earth is taken into account, type of serving is called as geodetic serving. So, option D is correct. See, this question came in SSC J 2012. Hope you have got it. Now, coming to the next question. So, third question is, it says the main principle the main principle of surveying is to work from the options are higher level to lower level second option is lower level to higher
third option is part two hole and third option is hole to part as i already explained you in the principles of surveying the first principle of surveying says that we should work from hole to part so option d is correct see this question came in ssc j 2013 now moving on to next question so what's the next question the next question says it's an important one a scale representing either three units or only one unit and its fraction up to second plane up to second place sorry second place of decimal so the options are a diagonal scale b is or comparative scale c is or vernier scale and your d option is shrunk scale so this question came in ssc j 2017 see we have discussed so far about three types of scales plane scale diagonal scale chord scale and fourth is also vernier scale see we have learned that diagonal scale uh, gives the more accurate or more precise results so a scale representing either three units or only one unit with its fraction up to second place of decimal is the diagonal scale always remember <laughs> now again moving on to next questions so next question is which one is the upper is the upper limit of survey area in square kilometers for use of plane survey options are 250 square kilometer b is 300 square kilometer c will be 350 square kilometer and your d is 450 square kilometer and this question came in ssc j 2018 so as i already explained you while teaching this while teaching plane survey and geodetic survey that we use plane survey only when the area is less than 250 square kilometers so the option is correct now again moving on to next numerical next is a numerical so so the numerical says 10 divisions of vernier scale i will write vernier scale as vs are equal to 11 divisions Or main scale, I'll write main scale as MS of each 0.1 mm. 
So he is asking what is the least count of vernier? And the options are A 0.009, B is 0.01, C is 0.1 and D is 1.1 and this question came in SSC J 2018. See, we know the formula for all types of verniers for, uh, for the calculation of least count. The formula is same. Least count of vernier is equal to S by N. Where S is the main scale reading. N is the number of divisions of <laughs> vernier scale. So using these values we get. See, uh, for calculating S. We have to multiply these. He is given 11 divisions of main scale. And each division is of 0.1 mm. So the main scale reading will be 11 into 0.1. And the number of divisions are on main scale uh, on vernier scale are 10. So we'll get. So we will get the answer as 0.11. So option C is correct. Now moving on to next questions. So next question says with an increase in the denominator with an I'll write increase as this arrow increase in the denominator of the RF representative fraction. The scale of map will now see the options A decrease B either increase or decrease C option is increase and our D option is remain same. And this question came in SSCJ 2018. See as we already know that with increase in denominator the RF of the map will decrease. So option A is correct. So moving on to the next question. So the next question says a surveyor measures it's a numerical distance between two points on a map of RF that is representative factor of 1 is to 100 is 60 meter. A surveyor measure distance between two points on a map of RF of 100, 1 by 100 is 60 meter. But later he found that he used wrong RF of 1 by 50. So he is asking what is the correct distance between the two points. This question came in SSCJ again 2018. Options are 30 meter, B is 45 meter, C is 90 meter, D is 120 meter. So you might remember I told you a formula regarding uh, the calculation of correct length or correct distance when 
two types of RFs are given. One is wrong and another is correct. So we can say that correct distance. I'm writing the formula is equal to RF of wrong scale. upon RF of correct scale into measured distance we are given all the values we will substitute and find the answer RF of wrong scale is given as 1 by 50 and of correct is given as 1 by 100 and the measured distance is given as 60 so we will get it as 120 meters answer so our correct distance is D option 120 meters now we have two more questions for today so the question says which of the following surveys which one of the following surveys survey is used to define the property lines so this question came in SSCJ again 2018 so options are city survey B is cadastral survey or C is land survey and D option is topographical survey as we all know that if it is the survey that is concerned with property lines is cadastral survey so option B will be correct now coming to the last question, that is 10th question. It says what is the difference difference between the sum of interior angles of a plane triangle and spherical triangle and spherical triangle for an area of triangle 195 km square on the earth's surface so this came in SSC J2018 and the options are a 1 degree B is 1 minute C is 1 second and D is 1 radian as I already explained you in my previous lectures that the difference between the sum of interior angles of plane triangle and spherical triangle of for the area of there I have mentioned one 200 km square here it is written 195 km one and the same thing so option C is correct 1 second so that was all for today's lecture. Hope you would have loved these, uh, liked these numericals and you'll enjoy solving these. And that's all for today. Keep liking the videos and sharing. That's all.